area to try to get you up to speed on combat on Araxis. Use the mouse to turn and look up and down. The jump key is used to hurdle battlefield obstacles, but jumping greatly reduces weapon accuracy. The crouch key can be used to duck down and make yourself a smaller target. Holding down the sprint key while moving will make you run faster, but you cannot use any weapons while sprinting. And These gravity pads are one of the many marvels that Vanu's wisdom has availed to us. Simply step on the pad, and you will ascend or descend in the direction. Capture and hold these points to take control of the region. Successful uplink must be maintained in order to complete the transfer of control. So any enemy resistance must be eliminated to ensure success. This energized shield has IFF properties that only allow authorized infantry units to pass through. is at hand. This facility now belongs to the VS. Use the interact key for interacting with most objects. In when you interact with a terminal, your view will switch to a menu of options available at the terminal. Click the green resupply button on the left side of the terminal menu to equip your... To change classes, interact with an equipment terminal. Then select the class you'd like to use on the left side of the menu. To equip that class, click the resupply button. Try changing classes to a combat medic. Your weapons are just as dangerous to your teammates as they are to the enemy. So it is essential you learn how to identify friend from foe. By default, your teammates all have friendly blue triangled indicators above their heads. And their names show up when you point your crosshair near them. Enemy players do not have any indicators above them unless they are spotted. Press the spot key while... The simplest form of shooting is hip fire, where you shoot without careful aiming. The area between the crosshair ticks shows where your shots will land when you fire your weapon. This area is referred to as your cone of fire. Try shooting some targets using hip fire. Try shooting some targets using hip fire. You can also aim down the sights of your weapon by right clicking on your mouse. This will greatly improve accuracy but penalize your movement. Headshots will do more damage to your target, especially if you are using a high powered sniper rifle. You will automatically reload your weapon when you empty the magazine. You can reload before the magazine is empty using the reload key. You can switch weapons and items by pressing your weapon slot keys or by scrolling the mouse wheel. Switching to your pistol is faster than reloading your primary weapon. The use ability key is used by some classes to activate their special class defining ability such as the cloaking device for the infiltrator, the shield for heavy assault, or the group heal for the combat medic. Take some time to get comfortable with shooting, and familiarize yourself with your weapons and classes. Teleporters provide quick transportation within the facility. Step on the pad to begin the process. Death is inevitable, but there are many ways to get back into the fight. Every friendly facility has a protected spawn room, where you can prepare before moving out. Sundera vehicles can also be equipped with a mobile spawn capability. 
You can also redeploy back to a friendly facility using the redeploy mechanism. Use redeploy to respawn at this facility. Infantry aren't your only threats. Our outdoor range also has vehicle targets. Most vehicles are resistant to small arms fire. And some, like tanks, are completely immune. For these threats, you have to use rocket launchers and other more powerful ordnance. The heavy assault is the class most well suited for dealing with enemy vehicles. Go to an equipment terminal and switch to your rocket launcher and use it to blow up an enemy vehicle. Tanks have strong front armor, but are more vulnerable on the sides and rear. This thrust pad will move you around the facility quickly. If you step onto the pad, you will be jettisoned at high velocity in the direction the pad is pointing. An inertial dampener is in place to allow for a safe landing. This thrust pad will move you around the facility quickly. If you step onto the pad, you will be jettisoned at high velocity in the Vehicle terminals are where you can create your own vehicles for your use. There are many types of vehicles available. From quads to tanks to large transport. One vehicle that is always available at every friendly facility is the Flash. This vehicle is excellent for personal trans... Spawning vehicles costs resources. Secure this objective! This nanite ammunition depot can quickly resupply ammunition for all types of ground vehicles. Ammunition is replicated directly into the vehicle's weapon systems. So no manual interaction is needed. Secure this objective! This type of generator maintains power to the perimeter shields, preventing ground vehicles from breaching the facility. Shield generator critical. This type of generator maintains power to the perimeter shields, preventing ground vehicles from breaching the facility. Generator destroyed. Warp terminals have a globe icon and are marked on your minimap and heads up display. Gate terminals allow long-range transportation for infantry units. It allows a soldier to travel to any link location in an instant. Warp terminals have a globe icon and are marked on your minimap and heads-up display. Thank <laughs> you.
every continent where we have a foothold, you will find a warp gate facility with access to all vehicles and terminals. You can also use instant action to get right into the fight. This will initiate a short countdown and then take you to a fight where you are needed. You can access instant action anywhere by pressing your instant action key. To complete your training, use instant action to get into the fight. Remember, you are part of the Vanu sovereignty. Your foes will evolve, or they will perish. Good luck.
Clear out of that area. Control of Hassan. Success is all but assured. We've acquired the facility.
Is ours. 